Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make particles move along the path very easy and quick in After Effects. First of all let's create new solid layer. I will name it particles and then make sure that the size is the same as the composition, in my case it's 1080 by 1920. Now hit OK and then apply CC particle systems effect on that layer. I will toggle off my clip for a while so I can see the effect clearly, then let's scroll forward to see the particles and now we can adjust it. I will change birth rate to 15, longevity to around 5, then expand producer and I will change radius x and y both to 0. Now let's expand physics and I will bring down velocity to 0, then gravity to 0 as well and then expand particle and I will change particle type to tetrahedron. Note, in your case you can choose any of them and also do not copy my settings, just play around with them until you will be happy with the particles effect. Now let's increase birth size and then I will change death size to 0, then size variation to 100% and max opacity to 100% as well. Let's change birth color. I'm done with particles effect and let's quickly check what it looks like now. So now let's make these particles move along the path. To do it, first we need to create new null object. I will rename it to path and then we have to correct the anchor point, cause it's not in the center as you see. Make sure path layer is selected, then hold control on your keyboard and double click on an anchor point tool. Now it's in a center, but now let's align the null in the center. Go to align tab and align the null horizontally and vertically. Nice, now make sure path layer is selected and then grab a pen tool and simply mask around to create a path. I know, my mask looks awful, don't be like me, just take your time and make sure to mask as smooth as possible. Once you are done, scroll to the very beginning of a path layer and then press M on your keyboard to expand mask settings. Select mask path and copy it. Now press P to expand position and make sure to click on position and then paste the mask you have copied. As you see we have bunch of a position keyframes here and it's all animated, or I mean the null will now follow the mask we have created. So now hit M on your keyboard one more time and delete the mask cause we don't need it anymore. Let me quickly show you an animated null. Let me know in the comments if you knew about this quick null path trick with a mask. So since we have a path, we can tell particles to follow it. Let's expand particles layer, then effects, then CC particle systems and then producer. Now select path layer and press P on your keyboard to expand position. Now under a producer grab a position pick whip and drag it on a position of a path layer. Let's quickly check it now. Done, as you see the particles follow the path that we have created with a mask. Now we can go to particles effect and make any changes in case if you don't like it. Once you are done, we can toggle on our clip and continue editing. Looks fine, but let's apply a glow on particles, I will use a deep glow plugin. I will decrease the exposure just a little bit and then let's check it again. Looks nice, in case you want to track the particles, make sure to select your clip and click on track camera. Once analyzing is done, select some points, for example I will select here on the ground, then right click and select set ground plane and origin, then right click again and select create solid and camera. Now select particles and path layer and let's pre-compose them. I will name it to particles and then make sure that move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and hit OK. Now enable 3D on particles layer and then adjust the size, position, and rotation of a particles layer. Once you are happy with it, toggle off track solid and we are done. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.